everybody, how are you? This is Amy, and I'm at Serific Crested Geckos. Um, today, I have blue gloves on, so you know what that means. I'm playing with bugs. So, we're just going to, um, hi. We're just going to, if you could, please send out my live to people. I, I really can't touch the, the phone with icky hands. So, today, <clears throat> I don't know if you could see this good or not, but this is a real tight room because this is my Dubia Roach room. Hey, Smog Tamer, what's happening? So, this is my Dubia room. I Actually, it's called my hot room because I also have my day geckos here. Look how big they are getting. I don't know if you guys were following me on the other Instagram. But they're getting big. This room stays at about 73 degrees all the time. This is the yucky bug room. And so today I thought I would do a little tutorial on um, Dubia roaches. Well, I've done them before on my other Instagram before I got in trouble. So um, today we're going to do it again. So hopefully... This will work. And I'm going to put some tunes on, so sorry, you guys. Should be okay. Maybe I won't get banned again. Okay, so the first thing we I do, uh, well, first thing I do is I come downstairs and I cut up a bunch of either apples or carrots. Apples and carrots are really good. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of, um, trade off either one or the other so it's either usually apples or carrot they really love the apple and it's really sweet for them and they like glom onto it real quick so if you see I have three big bins down here and they all have my roach colonies well this is some of them because I'm not showing you the other side of the room <laughs> so this is the this is like my staging area too because I keep the feeders separate in separate sizes right here this is the really big size and these are the smaller ones and then other ones here so uh, so I'm going to show you how I do my dubia roast bins uh, if you have any questions you know post them up here and I'll try to answer them as as I go so First thing I do is I open up my colony. Let me see if you can see that real good. Okay. I open up my colony. So if you're squeamish about bugs, this is the time that you're not going to be looking. So, <laughs> so if you love your reptiles, you're going to have to love these guys because they are so nutritious. And they're really good for your reptile. It doesn't matter what kind of reptile you got. Oh, also, right here, if you can see, this one right here is a male, and this one right here is a female. Can you see that? See how they look different? Uh, the one has wings, and the other one doesn't. The Dubia roach species, the male has wings, and the females. Uh, don't well they have little bitty wings so the first thing I do is I add more water to my water crystals right down here just to hydrate it and I'm cheap and I don't like to keep using water crystals when I can just pour water into the water crystals and, and uh, reactivate and uh, it soaks up the water you know, because I'm a penny pincher. And so, uh, the next thing we do is I got to get down to the bottom here. And this is where I'm going to feed them. I make my own Dubia Roach Chow. And um, if you want the recipe, good luck. Figure it out yourself. 
I mean, I might make you some pointers, but don't ask me for my recipe because I've been working on this recipe for about five years now, and uh, everybody has their own recipe. And so just know this, never, ever, ever use cat or dog food because these guys are vegetarian, and they don't take well to you trying to feed them meat product. Uh, they, it creates a whole bunch, a host of problems with the bugs, and not only that, with your reptiles, because it will cause all kinds of problems with your reptiles because of the uric acid that is uh, expelled from these bugs when they have too much protein. And so that causes gout and all kinds of uh, problems with your reptile. And so the next thing is, I always put an egg crate over the food area and I put my apple snacks and, and other vegetables. Today I'm using apple. Um, and I put it over this because if it goes moldy, then I only have to pour away or pull out the old one and throw it away. And so another thing that I always do when I check my roaches is I check and see the temperature of the pads. So let's see if I can do this so you can see too. Can I get it from over there? Well, it's a little bit different from here. But you see, it should be really hot like that, okay? 121. It's not that hot in the bin, but the pads are that hot, okay? 109. You know, every different spot's different. Because what you want is really hot atmosphere for these guys to breed right. And if it's not hot, they're not going to breed right. Because they like it hot and moist. See that bug right there? That's a male dubia that's drinking the water. Can you see that? I can't really see good. So, yeah. So that's just a pointer. Yes, the water is for the dubia. Ooh, I'm all kinds of crazy here. Oh, yeah. Hi. And you know, yes, why do I wear blue gloves? Because when you handle the dubia roaches, they spit on you and it's gross. <laughs> so, uh, so I wear the gloves and also I'm touching all this stuff so it's just really gross. So instead of having to wash my hands all the time, I just take that off, you know. So uh, I can't think of any other questions, um, but you know, of course, if you didn't catch the live, I'm going to go ahead and repost it so other people can see it. Uh, this is the first live I've done with my new account. So, um, yeah, so if you ever have any questions about Dubia roaches um, or other kinds of bugs, I do Dubia roaches, I do uh, Red Runner roaches, I do, uh, hey, Sticky Toe Geckos, hello. I'm just, I'm playing with bugs. So I was just saying. You know, it's very important to feed your crested geckos and other geckos bugs. Because no matter how much you smash up them into powder and rehydrate them, it's not the same. And they don't get that mental stimulation either. Um, like they would uh, when they're eating um, live food. It's really good for them. I mean, uh, I my geckos are known to be, you know, vigorous eaters of bugs because... I make it my point that they eat them. So, um, so I don't know what else to say other than hello. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure that you like uh, and share this video with other people that may um, find this useful. And make sure that you smash that notification button so that when I go live the next time or post videos or pictures, you will be able to see those first. So everybody have a great day and always, always, if you have any questions, uh, you can always DM me. Um, I may not answer right away, but I'm pretty quick. I may say so myself. So 
you can go ahead and message me with any questions and I'll help you out as best as I can. So thanks for joining me. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later.